Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Ringside Insanity. I am Jeff Meacham. She is the Gosh. giant headache. Poor I'm thing. Freaking something in my eye. Oh, you think I thought it was the headache? No, uh, I have like makeup or something in my eye. Ow. Yeah, yeah, see, guys don't have that problem. Guys don't have makeup in their oh, oh, unless they're Rocky Horror fiends or just they have yeah, issues. It just got in my eye like right before we put on. Of the course camera. it does. That's how, that's, that's how it works when you when you're doing live to tape. That's how it works around here. Ow. Anyway, last week we uh we put Jade through some serious problems. Having to watch the Holtz <laughs> Barn. Sorry. It was it, it was bad. Oh and, my god. And Jay was Jay was very mad at us. So we we, we, we we gave back a little bit here to our to our favorite cripple and and decided to watch a movie featuring multiple WWE superstars who ended up all getting killed <laughs> in in a single you shot. Spoiler or anything. Yeah, well, whatever. All but one. All but one, that's true. Because Big Show ended up being killed. Big Show made out with a man. Uh-huh. Big Show made out with a man. Ended up no, I know that. I didn't. Know he, that. He's, he, he didn't get killed in the movie. I he was MVP, killed. Jericho, Kali, and Mark Henry all bit the bullet when the C4 exploded in the van. I could have sworn he was And Kane. And Kane, that's right, and Kane. Kane and his long-awaited return to movie making after See No Evil had two things. See No Crap, you mean? Jeez, I, I never saw See No Evil, so oh I can't. Oh my god, it was crap. Okay, well, we, we will review that. That, that's my review already. It's crap. Uh, well, I have to watch it to give it a proper mm, review. No, so. you don't. Yes, I do. Trust me, you don't. MacGruber was the one we watched for this week, and... I thought that was going to be crap. And Jade was rolling on oh. the floor, Why snorting. Not just laughing, but snorting. Chinky eyes of doom and everything. I'm for those of you crying. That, for, 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 for those of you who don't mind me not being PC, because that's, that's not PC phrase. Um, it, you know, I found myself actually chuckling at quite a bit of it. I'm not a fan of the SNL movies, necessarily. I did like Wayne's World. Both That's of the them. That's the only one that I've ever seen. I, I did not like Night of the Roxbury. People l- gush over that. I'm not a fan of that. I did not did like... I, ever it? I don't believe so. I did not like Lady Man. The, skit, the skits are hysterical yeah, with, with uh, Tim... Uh, oh, God. Tim Meadows. But the movie itself was just like, blow your brains out, make you want to scream. Um, but this one, yeah, Coneheads, Coneheads, I can oh, go I back and forth. Funny. Coneheads I kind of liked, but I definitely prefer. The problem with Coneheads was they made it like 20 years after the skits were on SNL. And then they brought it back from the movie in 93. It was like, huh? It didn't make sense to me. But, you know, but... In any event, MacGruber actually surprised me. I actually found myself enjoying it. It would have been funnier than heck if it actually had MacGyver in it because MacGyver showed up on a skit of SNL and actually, you know, was labeled as MacGruber's father. I don't know if you ever oh, saw that God. one or not. MacGyver, Rich, Richard uh, Dean Anderson showed up on SNL during a skit of MacGruber and was labeled and named Mac- Mac- MacGruber's father. So to have Richard Dean Anderson in the movie would have Why been can't great. I think it's... You know who MacGyver is? No, I know who MacGyver is, I just can't think of the actor. It's the it's guy that plays MacGyver. I know, I can't think of, like, the face. Okay, well, just take that hideous hairstyle that MacGruber had and age it about 20 years. It's not Dylan's daddy, is it? No, that's not, no, that is, um, is it Josh, uh, oh, what's Jack McKay's name? Holy cow. You met him too. I did, isn't that awful? I actually, it's on, it's on my Facebook, if I could access the thing really quick, but I can't. Anyway. MacGruber is the story of, uh, in the movie anyway, it's the story of a former, I, I guess, like, spy or agent, you know, like, like, a, like a federal agent type guy who has retired and is, you know, living off in the boonies somewhere and is, you know, in, in tune with Jesus harmony man. and things like that. And, you know, the, the government recruits him to take out this evil terrorist played by a rather out-of-shape Val Kilmer. I was very surprised to see... Oh, my God, he was that, fat. Val Kilmer look uh, a little chunky in the cheeks there. It, I'm not trying to be mean about it, Jesus. <laughs> I have a weight problem myself. I'm trying to be understanding of Val's problem. I'm so sorry if I skipped me. <laughs> I'm, sad. I'm not trying to. You, you're just having a heck of a show today. You got makeup issues and you're spitting on people. I'm having a heck of a day. Yeah. So, 
he gets recruited. He recruits this team of uh, his buddies that are all WWE superstars. Again, Jericho, MVP, Mark Henry, Kane, and the Great Khali. Tries to get the big show, but the big show ends up being a little goomsy goomsa. So he decides to not have him on the team. But everybody else gets blown up because McGruber's an idiot and loads the thing with C4, you know, live C4 explosives. And everybody knows about C4. Talk to Mick Foley about C4 explosives in Japan. Read the book. Should have read the book, you know, from the book of Month Club, but if you didn't, you didn't. Um, So then he gets kicked off, ends up teaming up with um, Ryan Phillippe and another SNL co-star who's in the skits with him, Chris, Kristen or Kristen Wiig. She, she plays love interest as well. I found it hysterical. You were, you were amazingly. I was yeah, you, she was sitting there in tears. She was laughing so hard. I was cracking up. I almost peed my pants. I had to go pee. Is this your favorite one? Review, review? Oh yeah. Okay. Especially after freaking, what's it called? No, no it's barred. barred. Well, to to, to have no holds barred last week, you know, it, this one definitely made it up for. The craptasticness of No Holds Barred, I think, for sure. Right Especially now. after a craptastic day that we had, that day that we watched it. This it is very was, true. It's very just true. We, we needed it. We, so needed. We needed a haha -ha day, and, and McGruber definitely helped out with that. Um, I, I, you know what? I hate. I'm surprised, but I recommend it. I, I recommend it to anybody that's a fan of Saturday Night Live. If you watch the current Saturday Night Live, or even like the last about four or five years or so. That's what MacGruber's been on. Um, if you've seen the skits, you'll like the movie. If you haven't seen the skits, th there's a brief little backstory that they give you, so you don't really need to see the skits necessarily, but the skits are definitely very complimentary, too. I don't think I've actually seen the skits. Yeah, it's it, it's really not necessary to see them, but, you know, like I said, you get a little bit of backstory on the, t on the television show because you get Richard Dean Anderson, again, MacGyver playing MacGruber's father. You get more of Kristen Wiig's character. Well, um, Anderson's... Um, Adam Sandler left SNL. I haven't really watched it. You didn't watch it like 20 years then, jeez. Yeah. I just watched it like off and on. You never watched during like the Will Ferrell years? I hate Will Ferrell. Even on the show? Can't stand him. See, I, I only liked him on the show. His movies are... <laughs> but on the show, he's funny. Oh, there you go. Payback. Um, ow! <laughs> My bad knee again! You keep sitting there. I'm sorry. Well, somebody needs back support with the chair, so but she has to sit there here. there with the back support and put the other one right there. Pain in the butt. Just have to do it back and forth. That chair stays there because it's JJ's desk chair. It's just easier to just leave it right there. Or you could just quit hitting me the freaking knee. Thank you. Oh! Damn. Set yourself up for that one. Anyway, I give MacGruber the, the highest score that I can give, which is... I guess 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, wherever you want to give. And you, you were saying you were going to give it a 10 out of 10 last night. Is that still? I'm giving 11. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, next week is one that I've been looking forward to seeing. I got it for my birthday and haven't <laughs> watched it yet. And that was in March. So it's been like three and a half months, almost four months now. Uh, over four months now. Because, you know, this is July. So I, I'm very much looking forward to it. It's basically the Marine with a different storyline at the end of the day, from what I've been told. But we'll see what John Cena has in store for us as oh. we watch 12 <laughs> rounds. I wish on that. No, I we're not watching the Marine 2 that. yet. <laughs> it, did, it, it was voted on. It did get votes. So we will be watching <laughs> it. And I know you've already seen it. So yeah. oh well for Kinda. you. But we, I saw we, some of it, and then I... I thought it was so craptastic, I went in the shower. Well, they're both on the list, so we're going to watch both of them. I so. took a shower rather than Back to back. It. Back to back, that's right, because they got the same votes, I believe. And then, and, then ho and, then ho and then hopefully we'll have the Marine 3 on, uh, on, on, on bootleg soon enough. What? I don't condone bootleg. I don't condone bootleg. I don't want to go see it in the theaters. It's, just, it's too much of a pain in the butt to pay 12 bucks. WWE films don't come to the theaters. They come there for like one weekend and then two weeks later they're at Walmart for like 10 bucks. I don't want to spend 10 bucks. I didn't get 10 bucks to my name. I don't want to uh, yeah. spend 10 bucks on Christmas. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. We at Costume Studios do not condone bootlegging. However, if you want to give us a bootleg copy of something, we're not going to review them. Or if you want to give us a link somewhere, we can find it. That works too. We're not going to say no. But we don't condone it because it's wrong. You should pay your money. Even if the movie is crap. Alright. Now that we've 
the whole legal stuff. Twelve rounds is next week, as I mentioned. Um, you've not seen that either, so I think this is the first time that neither one of us has seen it before we reviewed it. So mm. it should. It, it's no it, holds barred. I had seen bits and pieces of no holds barred. I've not seen anything but trailer clips of twelve McGruber. rounds. So MacGruber, I I I'd seen trailer clips. I, I think I. But you, you know, haven't seen the movie. I saw trailer clips too. Yeah, I, I, thought, I, I thought you saw the movie with him. Did, 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 when you first got it, did you not watch it with him? No. Oh. Okay, well then it's the second one. Whatever. Two weeks in a row we've seen it. We have not That's seen why it. I was laughing my butt off. Okay, well, there you go. I'm wrong again. What else is new? I've been caught live to tape on film. So, 12 rounds is live next week. What? We're going live to tape. We're not actually live, so it's live to tape. That's what they call that in, in the biz. Mm hmm. I should know that since I'm dating somebody that's in the biz. You should. But you don't. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh -huh. I know it's not him. No. I'm not in the biz. I, 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 I'm in this biz. Yeah, I'm in this biz. <laughs> I'm in the biz of making money. And that's the only biz that really okay. matters at the end of the day. And with that, Bye. we say goodbye. We'll see you all next week with 12 rounds.